Fuck the haters, part two. This is Let's Look at Cherry Tree High Comedy Club. Now you might be thinking, this title's a little bit difficult to parse. Is it Cherry Tree High Comedy Club? Like comedy for very sophisticated people? Is it Cherry Tree High Comedy Club? Like a high school's comedy club? Or is it Cherry Tree High Comedy Club? Which is a cherry tree that is super looped out of its brain on THC. I have no fucking idea. Actually, it's Cherry Tree High Comedy Club. As if it's a high school. And this is a... I always forget the term that people like. You know how, like, people who are height challenged do not like being called, for example, dwarves or midgets. They prefer little people. And I completely respect that. I usually call these games, like, faux dating sims. But people chime in and go, Northern Line, you got a very close-minded view of things. This is actually, like, a visual novel or an interactive narrative or something like that. Anyway... This is a faux dating sim, uh, where we don't actually get involved with any love from the opposite sex, I believe. Our actual goal, we're playing as this character right here in the middle, uh, and our main goal is to actually, we're trying to create a comedy club at our high school. I swear to god, this is all the high drama that, that facilitates the rest of the action. Um, but we only have two members for the comedy club, and in order to get school funding, we need five. So our whole life right now, for the next, like, month of this game, consists of just trying to get three more people to join the game. Or to join our club, I should say. So as you can see here, uh, I've got three save files. I've got about an hour total into this game, and we're actually going to boot into the furthest save I have. Because I really haven't had anything monumental happen in that entire hour. So let's talk about who we are right here. We are Miley Cyrus here. Well, her name is Miley. I don't think it's Miley Cyrus. And we are the cow-licked main character of this game, and again, our goal is simply to get three people to join our club. We've already got this girl, uh, she starts with you on her side, and this is, uh, Harriet. So we can chit-chat with her. I think I'll do some baking. Last time I made muffins, so this time cupcakes. Yes, that sounds great. I love having a roomie who bakes. Haha, -ha, and I love a roomie who eats it all up. As you might expect, this game is not made in America, or Canada, or North America, or Western Europe. I don't mean that in a negative way, I just thought I would point it out, considering, you know, this genre doesn't really gain a lot of traction in North America, usually. And this is actually published by Capcom, which makes it kind of infuriating for me that it refuses to run in anything but a 640x480 window. Come on, you're Capcom! Give me some 1920x1080 sweet-ass ultra settings. Anyway, I'll stop complaining about things that are irrelevant to the game. Basically, as in any game of this sort, uh, you have the, it's basically kind of like a strategy game. You have decisions that you can make to take actions that will improve your chances or disimprove your chances, lessen your chances of accomplishing your goal. So in the evening here, we can take one action. I can sit down here at our table. We can make jewelry, which will give us money, or watch TV, which will improve our knowledge for a subject. Uh, we can sit down at our desk and we could do some homework or call a friend. Doing some homework would take away one homework assignment, but I've already done all my homework because I'm the coolest guy on earth. Uh, or we can call a friend, and this will improve our relationship with a friend. Or we can go down on the bed here, and we can read a magazine or go to bed early. Reading a magazine is like TV, it'll improve our knowledge on a subject, and going to bed early removes our fatigue. But our fatigue's pretty low, I think we should go call a friend here. So let's call a friend, uh, and I think I have two people that I can call. Sarah Croft, Mae Bonbon, bon, Cindy Smith, and Tyler Perez, I know, but I've never uh, gotten close enough to them to get their phone number. So you know what, let's call, um... Let's call Sarah Croft, because we're already at level 3 with her. I don't know when she becomes capable of actually joining our club. But we talked until late at night, and that will do it for that day. So in every day, as things go on, we do have a deadline for when we have to complete this by. It's sometime in April, I can't remember when. It must be the 29th, given that that is colored weirdly there. Unless that's just like a day off from school or something. What's this? I feel the need. The need for speed. I don't... Miley is hyperactive today. For all today, her repertoire level up and work output will be greatly increased. Okay, this means if we were to take her on a trip to, like, do some work or something, she could do some good stuff. Now, let, I'm gonna do something back on this screen here, but first let's just talk about the interface of, uh, Cherry Tree High Comedy Club here. So this is basically our overworld map, and every- there's three periods of the day. Morning, afternoon, and evening. Evening always takes place back in the Unity dormitory. This is where we live, and we'll, you know, be able to do our homework or whatever, call our friends. Uh, but morning and afternoon, we can basically do whatever we want. So, normally it consists of, like, you know, going to all of these places and seeing if there's any characters that you know. And if there are characters that you know, you talk to them, and you try to build up your friendship with, sh friendship with them. Because apparently, you're too much of a puss to just ask them right out right if they'll join your comedy club. See, if I had a month and a half to get three people to join my comedy club, you know what I would do? I would just put up a poster or something. 
Uh, so we could go to the library here and like read a magazine or something. And that, that might not be a bad idea, actually. Let's go read a magazine. Uh, you picked up and read a copy of the local town guide, Ter Cherry Tree Picks. It had articles on the town history and new developments. Your history skill has increased. Alright, that's actually pretty shitty. I don't think I necessarily needed more history. I'll talk more about those skills as well, by the way. But again, when you do one action, time passes from one phase to the next. So now that we're in the afternoon, and given that Miley is hyperactive today, which is something I haven't seen before, it said we would get more money uh, from working harder. So why don't we come up here to Prosperity Shrine, where we actually have a part-time job. Is she a robot? Beep, whir, click, click? I don't get it. All this time I was actually... Uh, I knew it. Just kidding. Oh, really? This is not a game that is like... Magical Diary Horse Hall and that there's mysticism and stuff like that, magic going on. Everyone's totally normal. So we- I, I wanna not chit-chat. By the way, chit-chat changes daily. Bullshit. I always talk to the same girl and she's always like, You know romance is not allowed at school. I just thought you should know that and then I go back like two days later. You know romance is not allowed at school. Don't lie to me, game. Okay, no, okay, again, the chit-chat is just the robot stuff again. Uh, we'll skip by this. And I will do my part-time job here, sweeping up the shrine. And hopefully we get a ton of money like this. Yeah, we clean the heck out of it. Elise was impressed and paid you $20. That is literally double our average salary. And this is a crazy world where a full afternoon's work gains you $10 and a movie costs $15. There's some kind of weird economic disparity going on there. So, this represents a, another day basically wasted by me. Let's go back here and talk to... Oh, she's normal now. Let's go back here and talk to Harriet. What's up, Harriet? Are you doing your homework? I hear a new pasta restaurant is open in the next town. Would you like to go sometime? Well, I go all the way to the next town when we can ask Dina. I'm going to go for Dinah now because it sounds that much dirtier. We can ask Dinah to make pasta for us. It'll be nice to try some cooking from someplace else for a change. I, I guess. Let's watch some... Hey, you know, I, I kind of feel like we should just call some people. Because in calling them, we like improve our friendship level with them, I think. Which allows us to possibly make it easier for us to ask them to join the club at some point in the future. I don't know, man! I don't play these kinds of games. This came out on Steam recently, I should point that out. I didn't just download this from Newgrounds or something. The saying things like that make me sound like an old man. Download from Newgrounds. Um, so, like I said, uh, a lot of the game is like going around these areas that you find on your map and coming across people you know. Here's a girl we know. We actually called her on the phone last night. This is May. Hey sis, let's hang out if you're free. In future, sometimes there's a little bit of, of butchered English in here. I think the game is supposed to take place in America, though? I mean, all the characters are presumably American. I know this sounds fucking silly, but there's a point where you go to, like, a, a museum, and then your characters are complimenting the uh, person that you just met on the quality of their English, and you're like, yeah, they're really good at knowing stuff about America. Now, well, this game doesn't take place in Japan? This doesn't look like America at all. Okay, I'd like to be a Ghostbuster. A marine biologist or a person who dresses up as characters in an amusement park. May, uh, might I suggest marine biology because one of those professions doesn't exist and the other one is not going to make you have the best life probably. Good luck with all that. Yeah, even our character knows that this girl's crazy. Anyway, so we're going to hang out with her. This will pass time and the way we hang out is we talk about stuff and you kind of, you can divine information from them. But we also have to go through the process of elimination to figure out what the hell this girl likes. So I've already, if you look like over here, because I drag my mouse pointer onto the screen, I've already talked about video games, mystery novels, art, I don't even know what some of the stuff is, uh, sports, chit chat, and a lot of the stuff she didn't like. I know for a fact she doesn't like cooking. So here's the thing, we can talk about music, politics, fashion, travel, or pets. I'm gonna talk about music. Does she like music? Yes, yeah, she- Oh no, she doesn't like music! It was something of an awkward chat. You feel closer to May. Alright, well, I guess it didn't take away from our relationship. It just made it, uh, it grow a little more slowly. Hey, Miley, I have a favor to ask. Could you live a double life as a pop star named Hannah Montana? There's somewhere I'd like to go. It's down by the station, so, um, let's go first and I'll explain later. Never do this! Always tell people what you're gonna do. So the, this, girl, this girl's got kind of an overarching narrative. She owns, or she's the granddaughter of the owner of this mom and pop rock candy store. And the big capital group, ooh, corporate evil, is coming in here to try to buy it away from her grandfather. And she doesn't want to sell it even though the store is hemorrhaging money and their family's probably gonna go completely bankrupt. Alright, so she's, I guess, gonna go um, take us to the station here where we'll look at a different candy shop. 
that probably is owned by the Capital Group so that she can get an idea for how things work here. I don't know. That caramel was so sweet and the gummy bears were nice and soft. Things that have never been said by anybody ever. Fuck you, gummy bears. Okay, so what's her problem? They had so many customers there. Maybe because you didn't name your store Rock Candy. I mean, I know what Rock Candy is. Only like 80 year old ladies like Rock Candy these days. Yes, they all sell the same stuff so you always know what you're getting. The store is so big too, it didn't feel like a candy store at all. I was shocked. Haven't you ever seen Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory? Okay. She prefers the smaller stores. She's just paying lip service to May here. Why don't you just sell the store? You need the money. I mean, I realize you're like 14, but as an adult male, I don't have time for this drama. I feel like, like Kevin from Dragon's Den or something. Where's the money? Okay. Again, re reminders. This is all about getting people to join our comedy club. How much of that have we seen so far? But yeah, basically zero. Um, people have different tastes and they frequent the stores they feel are best suited to them. Not enough people feel this candy store is suited to them. It's going out of business. Why would this grandfather ever leave this decision up to his 14-year-old granddaughter? Maybe that's why he's not cut out to run a business. Alright, you should be proud that you have kids who come to your store every day. I wouldn't be. Kids are fucking stupid. That's gotta count for something. Sure, I'll just pay my my bills and fucking goodwill from school children. Alright. Let me know if you ever want to talk again. Can you get home on your own? Of course. Haha, <laughs> okay, see you. That's enough of that. Hopefully we are now in the afternoon. Oh, no, we're talking to the lady from the capital group who wants to buy it again. Oh my god, so much heavy drama. All I want to do is get three more people stupid enough to join a stand-up comedy group with like the least funny girl I've ever seen. I won't let you capital pigs take over any more of our town, you hear? Now beat it! Why would a businesswoman ever argue with a 15-year-old girl? Okay. Cool. I don't understand what's going on. May knows that joining your chain isn't a bad offer, but as you know, the store's also her home, so it's hard for her to accept. Yes, I understand. So please give her a little more time. She needs to form her own decision on this. Until now, she's always counted on me or her grandpa. There's a good chance for her to stand on her two feet. Her own two feet, I should say. Um, seriously? You want to make your 14-year-old granddaughter stand on her own two feet? Give her a dog or something. Don't allow her to make these business decisions that'll change the trajectory of your family. She hasn't even passed ninth grade math yet. Okay, I realize it's a game. I'm, I'm harping on it for all the weird reasons. What I'm just trying to do is point out the absurdity of the game, because... When it comes to actually critiquing this game, I don't really have that much to say. Are these the kind of games that I am a, a resource for people, like a, a trusted source for people to turn to? I don't think so. Uh, so after spending that marathon morning, I think what we're going to do is go in here to the movie theater. And I'll show you. We've got 50 bucks now. 15 bucks to take a, watch a movie. Uh, let's watch Baseball Schmooze. I've already watched Professor Tabby. This movie follows a high school baseball team over one summer season. Your sports skill has increased. And now our sports skill is level 3, beautiful. So I think this works similar to attributes in other games where you know you level, like in Magical Diary Horse Hall you'd level up like blue magic, white magic, black magic and stuff like that. And that would allow you to take different methods to coerce people to help you out. Uh, that's pretty much what we're doing right here. Can I go into the, oh I didn't want to do that. Um, let's talk to Harriet here. Harriet is also the only way that we can save our game, so why don't we do that. Hi Miley, are you doing your homework? I try different approaches and recipes, but however much I try, I can't cook as well as my mother. You're like 14! Give it some time! Okay, so I just want to save my game. I wish I didn't have to go through that chit chat. Um, why don't we save over our existing file? And what kind of, Like, I don't have much fatigue, I don't have anything to do. So I guess we'll just continue. Uh, oh no, no, don't do so much! Uh, it's my homework all done. Yeah, we know, okay. She's probably not going to be on the honor roll because her English is terrible, but. Um, let's call uh, Sarah Croft again. We haven't seen her. You and Sarah talked until late at night. I'd level me up to level four, please. So I think on today, sometimes there's special events that you come across in Cher Cherry Tree High Comedy Club, and I think today we have some kind of picnic going on. Today is the day of the dorm picnic. Beautiful. What are you doing, Harriet? Whistling a tune? Is it Gangnam style? Can I cut your face off? Up, maggots! It's picnic time! You have 40 seconds! Get ready and get your butts downstairs. Okay. 40 seconds, not a whole lot of time. What if I have to take a shit, Dina? I'm a long pooper. Okay, Dina, lunch is all set. Good work, they'll be down in just a second, so you get ready too. 
change out of those capris you've been wearing for 30 days straight. Did you call your friends? No, I didn't. Well, I tried. Off we go, kiddos. Where are we having our picnic? Cherry Hill Park next to the castle is famous for its cherry trees. And we're off! So I think I fucked up and I only have like one person coming with us. Oh, two people coming with us here. Oh, but we meet all our friends anyway. Beautiful. I don't know who some of these people are, I think. Oh no, I know I know who all they are. Uh, so we're gonna have a picnic here. I'm interested to see how this works out. Usually when you have events, it's just you mashing the spacebar to get through the pre-programmed dialogue. So I'm so glad Elise is here. She raises the class of the whole thing. That's the uh, Akihiko looking girl there in the tribal, well not tribal, um, temple gowns basically. I wore my shrine maiden outfit by request. Was your boyfriend here? Um, what a feast. Who made it? I made the easy stuff over here. Dinah made the rest. Wow, you can cook? Harriet's a little gem, ain't she? A perfect little homebody. Stop acting like her husband. I knew Harriet when she was knee high. Isn't she like one year younger than you? I don't know. So we get all this high school drama, blah, 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 blah. Let's talk to each other. I don't, I'm gonna confess, again, keep in mind that when I like slather hatred on this game, I'm not necessarily saying it's a bad game. This game is just so far outside of my wheelhouse that that's my coping mechanism. The only way I can judge this game is to be a little bit too harsh. In terms of the writing though, I, the writing has not drawn me in at all. And the drama that these characters go through is so meaningless, it's like reading through your Facebook mini-feed. It's like, oh, don't call me a crybaby, I'm not a crybaby. Hey Miley, what did you post the status for? I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, I'm sure this stuff, you know, maybe if you're into super cute stuff like this, maybe this is your style, maybe if you're into, and I don't mean this negatively, maybe if you're into Christine Love games, this might be the sort of thing that you like. Maybe if you liked Magical Diary Horse Hall, you might be into this stuff too. By the way, Cindy, she just said she never passes up free food. Earlier in the game, there was kind of a subplot about her maybe being homeless. So, this kind of makes sense. She wants the straight dope from Dina. I told you, she's a drug addict! Okay, you know she used to be called Raises Edge? I always knew you were a badass. You're like 14, how long have you known her? Known her? Okay, I don't want to... Let's go find someplace quiet. These guys are going to make out like crazy. I just want to get some people to join my comedy club. We're going to do a Dane Cook set with four people. Seriously, is this the end of the picnic? No, not even close. It is a great day for a picnic, isn't it? The cherry blossoms are in full bloom in this pre-rendered background. Not that the game looks terrible. It looks okay. I just really wish there was an option to not run it in... A 640x480 window, because actually, I mean, this is more of a knock on my eyes than a knock on the game, but sometimes I have to lean in super close to read it here. Some tea would be nice. I have some tea right here, she says as she rubs her crotch. Wait, it's not here, she says as she wonders where she misplaced her vagina. Finally, didn't I ask if you could bring the flask of tea? I said I could bring the flask. I didn't say I would actually bring it. By the way, Miley is kind of uh, one of the most annoying characters I've ever seen in my entire life. What are you, three years old? Sometimes I feel that way. Yeah, stop being pedantic and get the tea. All the way from back at Unity Dorms? That's like six squares away on our map. Okay. Now they're talking about me behind my back, but actually I can read it here, because apparently I have supernatural powers. Also, who says Fortnite in the year 2012? What teenager says Fortnite? Some dude dressed in a fedora with a scraggly goatee, I bet. No offense, you know, if you're a fedora and scraggly goatee kind of guy. Okay, so Harriet and Elise are having a, a nice little time here. Some might say she has a wide but shallow circle of friendships. Yeah, I would say that is true. Considering the only reason I'm getting these guys friends with me is so that I can get them to join my shitty comedy club. Is this the... Am I back at Unity Dorms? Final... No, this isn't me! Let me do something! Wait, that is me. Well, these guys are getting loaded. And again, so much of this game... I mean, you do have freedom at times. Uh, but... Jesus Christ, you spend a lot of time just mashing the space bar, hoping to get through this dialogue. So these girls are all talking about how cute they are. Um, May literally just told Sarah that she has a nice chest. Yeah, that is pretty awkward. You're right about that, Sarah. And 
Cindy, of course, is not like other girls. You can tell because she dyed her hair pink because she's a, a rebel. She listens to music you've never even heard of, man. You ever heard of the Ramones? It's too hardcore for your shallow suburban life. Okay, we're gonna go talk to some people. There's no changing it, man. I'm 14, I'm already set in my ways. And anyway, if I were a girly girl, I couldn't be a rocker. I mean, I can't play any instruments yet anyway, but... Ah, oh, she just told me to bite her! That's attitude right there. Is Dina coming back? What's going on here? Okay, so this Tyler dude is creepy as hell. He told me that he wants to be, like, a manager for celebrities when he grows up. So, he spends all his time stalking all the girls from our high school and finding out all of their interests and stuff so that he can approach them and be their manager later. You'll see. I was hoping we get a chance to talk. That we... You transferred so I don't have your info. Here we go. The first thing I was wondering is... Oh, we're not gonna actually see him ask any questions. That dude is creepy as shit. And hopefully... Is Sarah coming back here without any pants on? Uh-oh. Oh, Tyler hit on her. What a sneaky dog. She likes it too. Let the picnic be over, please! Oh my god, who invited the businesswoman? Didn't I just tell you to give this 14-year-old girl some more time to make the biggest decision of her family's life? Oh, Dina invited her. They were in high school together. It's been a long time, Dina. These guys seem... to have some kind of sexual tension. Am I crazy? And what about you? I doubt anyone who knew you in high school would have imagined you running a dorm. An all-girls dorm at a sexy school. Oh, I guess they were verbally sparring here. Alright. Please. Just finish with this picnic. I kinda just wanna end the video now. Woohoo! Time to blow this popsicle stand. Woohoo! Um... I'm, I'm just skipping here. Miley, let's get out of here before she gets any worse. Sounds like a good idea. Th thanks for coming. Th let me out. Let me out of here. Whoa, I regret not having a chance to demonstrate my secret talent, but this was enjoyable. Okay. We're not going anywhere after this. You're 14. Where are you going to go to the fucking bar? Let's do it again next year. Okay. It was like a two hour long picnic. Sure, we'll do it again next year. Mark it on your fucking calendars. Again, this stuff is meaningless. Oh, we're still in the park. Can I move now? Yes, I can. So I can do whatever I want with the afternoon here. Let's talk to Sarah. It's lovely and warm today, isn't it? Let's chit-chat. I've had pen pals since I was little. These days we email rather than post. Rather than post? I guess mail? But I hear some people still do it the old way. Real mail is nicer. It feels like a real conversation. Okay. Then let's hang out with her and try to increase our friendship score. Um, what is she like? I guess she likes romance because she was talking to that Tyler dude. Spent time talking with, to Sarah about romance. Seems Sarah likes romance. You had a nice chat together. You feel closer to Sarah. Fuck yes. Greatest detective of all time. And now we're going to the shrine for some reason. Oh, it's because uh, Sarah always indicated that she likes quiet places. Yes, I've heard it's famous. Do you have a wish you'd like to make here? Oh, I think she, li she wants to wish for a big boner from Tyler the Stalker. It smells like the countryside. Yeah, sorry, that was me. Um... Alright, Elise, hook us up here. Let me guess, no dogs allowed? We'll see. Whoa, Elise is pissed off. Sara Croft is just great, as a name. Oh, come on, are you gonna tell me Elise is a mind reader? Jesus Christ, the fetters we create for ourselves cannot be shed so easily. Thus, there are two ways to deal with them. I'm trying to do Keanu, Rui Keanu Reeves here. Improve yourself and break out of your shell. This will cast off your shackles. Or else you must learn to live with those chains. I wonder which path you will choose. You just met! You can't be going through this shit yet. Take a cue from the Michael Buble song. Um, I'll spoil it for you. She makes it all up. Is this the end of our time here? Can I go back to the dorm, save, and quit? Is she some kind of fortune teller? She isn't really shrine maiden material. M -m 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 maybe not. That was my Masharona impression. But she may be right. I'm always troubled, always pessimistic. I mean, I'm aware of it, but... Not too many people have no problems. You're in high school! 
Go home, do your homework, watch TV, play some video games, go to bed, wake up, go to school. The end. Seriously. Okay, the dog's coming here. What's he gonna do? When my grandfather died, I tried not to feel sorry for myself. But every time I see my dog, I remember my dear grandfather. So I've come to Prosperity Shrine to sacrifice this canine unit for the gods above. And I just get sad. I know it's wrong, and it isn't fair to either my grandfather or Roland, but I can't help it. I, I'm sorry. I just spread doom and gloom whenever I open my mouth. But you know, Sarah, your grandfather told you to become a woman who matches your smile, right? Well, what? <laughs> I can't do this anymore. How did you know? How indeed? That's another mystery. Is she her grandfather? Anyway, it's hard to talk about, but all I can say is you look cuter when you're smiling. Well, wanna head home? If the grumbling in my tummy is right, we're having curry tonight. Are you telling me she can tell based on how hungry she is what's coming for dinner tonight? That's fucking stupid as hell. Alright, it's the evening of April 6th. <laughs> Only two more weeks until our dope 420 celebration. Uh, it's April 30th is our final day, as you can see, so we don't have anything in here. Let's go in here. Do we level up with Sarah? I thought we leveled up with Sarah. Um, first, we'll talk to Harriet in here. Are you doing your homework? You ask every day if I'm doing my homework. My homework's all done. Why don't you do your homework? Also, I don't know why I never go to school. When you first started, this is like two weeks ago, they were like, "What? Well, um, spring break just started. Are you excited? And it's like, yeah, spring break, that's like a week off. But then it's been two weeks and I just haven't been back to school since. Let's call a friend here. Sarah Croft, oh, she's loving it. Let's take her up to level five. You and Sarah talk until late at night. She actually lives in this dorm. I don't know why I wouldn't just go over there and say hello, but... Do we have anything on this day? Please tell me no. It's the start of a new term. You had an opening day ceremony at school. Okay, I get it. So that probably takes up our morning. Let me leave. See you tomorrow, Miley. See you. Please let me leave. Please let me save and quit. I should have done it earlier rather than sleeping. Okay, two down. Just one to go before the summer holidays. Oh, uh, it's Octavia. She's another character we know. Who, at first I thought she was a teacher, but now I think she's the same age. I guess? I don't know. I'm just skipping through the dialogue, skipping through the dialogue, skipping through the dialogue. Come on. Jesus Christ, my socks are up. You should quit while you're ahead and join the Mystery Book Club. Life isn't a comedy act. Maintain that attitude and you're likely to regret it. I'll get the recruits, just you wait and see. Who cares? Uh, by the way, despite hating comedy, I have spare tickets to some comedy shows. Interested? I have one for every Saturday in April. Yeah, give it to me. Uh, why is Octavia trying to sabotage us? No, give us the comedy tickets. I want them. Alright, I skipped everything. Skip everything. Why didn't I save and quit when I got back to the dorm? Octavia, you are a bitch. Okay, so we got a new girl here we've met. Oh, I know, we know this girl. She's a Swedish daughter of a museum owner who wants to be in our club again. Excuse me while I saddle my hoss. Okay. I think she's trying to be funny. I don't know. This uniform is for the hockey players. Uh -huh. In my home country, I used to play much hockey. I wonder what that's like. Okay, please tell me. Please let me go. Help me. I want to get out. Where did she teleporting in? Ollie Ollie Octo Free. Cherry Tree High Comedy Club. Uh, sure, Oct you know what? Fuck this. Escape. Escape doesn't work. I'm trapped in Cherry Tree High Comedy Club prison. The game where you simply mash the space bar for minutes at a time. I, I mean, I, I apologize if you're not able to read all this text. I don't want to be here for 30 hours. Oh my god. Okay, I'm quitting here. Is it a maid cafe or a butler cafe? I, again, is this Japan? I have no idea. Oh, this is Cherry Tree High Comedy Club. Despite having comedy in the name, it's a uh, tragedy. I don't know, that's the byline I would give. But I don't know, I don't, I don't know if these games are good or bad. I have no idea. It's just, I think it's one of those things where you either love games like this or you hate them. Uh, I, I hate them, but this is now available on Steam. I believe it's eight bucks, so, you know, if you're interested in, you know, getting involved in that joint, you can just go pick up this Capcom product and, um, feel like you have not wasted your money.
which is not necessarily the way that I feel, but hey, at least it hopefully made for a funny video, but as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.